another setback at home. You drew against Accra Lions here. You lost to Swatchaman. And when everybody felt that after winning in Tamale, you were going to pick all three points, you dropped two valuable points at home. What went wrong with your team? Well, well thank you very much. I think, I think we did all that we could because in the latter part, I even changed the system to 442 so that we can add more numbers. But still, it seems not to work because, like I told you, in the big game, I'm not surprised because they are also prepared and then uh, they managed to get a point. So I think we have to go back and work and then uh, focus on our next game. You know, your friend John Eduafu says they dominated play, they played the way they wanted to play. The only thing they did wrong was that they weren't able to hit the back of the net. You also created chances. How worried are you that the goals didn't come because you created very, very good chances? Yeah, I'm really worried because, you know, like he said, they were playing, but we were focusing on how we'll get our goals and get a three points. So it's quite two different games. But like I said, I did all that I could, all the necessary strategies, but ah, we still have to go back and then prepare for our next game. You, you get the feeling that you need to start working on the psyche of boys like Ensu and Efriye. They seem to be inconsistent and indecisive up front, alongside Emmanuel Sapon, Amankuna seems to be the only reliable source of goals in your attack. Yeah, thank you. D definitely, you know, that's why we are here as coaches. Because sometimes, the way you see them playing away, you don't get it here. I don't know the exactly uh, problem that is going on. But it seems we play under pressure. So that is one thing that I need to psych them and then let them know that this is our home. And any match here, at least, we have to play with confidence and then get our points. You got second on the league table today at least for now before the rest of the games are played on next weekend you go to hearts of lions how do you want to end the first round yeah yeah i'll, I'll be mad great with that from first to second it, it's going to be good for me and the team and then the fans as well so i think we'll, we'll definitely bounce back yeah. thank you very much thank you thank you very much hi coach your general impressions about the game thank you very much um I think for my earlier submission, I did say we have come prepared and there's a lot of motivation in my team. The boys are mentally, physically, conditionally prepared to play the game. And you could see what we did. We possessed the game, we dominated the game, we played the way we want to play. In fact, we had three objectives to play in the game. One, to defend very well, so we don't concede a goal. Two, to be able to play the game we want to play. Three, and to be able to score. But then you could see that we played the way we want to play, we defended well, we are unable to, to score. I'm impressed by the performance of my team, but not the results. But it's okay. But you can obviously be impressed every time because you are dominating play, you are playing the way you want to play, you are keeping it tight at the back. If you want to stay relevant in the Premier League, you must score goals. We will. We are unable to score today, but I promise you, we will start scoring goals. From how you shaped up getting to the latter stages of the game, you brought in o the two Owusus, Elijah and Steven. They brought some positive vibe in your attack. You get the feeling that they could have done the trick for you if they had even started the game. Yeah. I told you from the earlier submission that it was a tactical um, Decision. reason why I kept them on the bench. They came in and you saw what they did. Positive impact in the game. It's, it's, it's good. You obviously want to end the first half on a high, thinking about the fact that you do have one outstanding game as well to play. Yeah. So, two outstanding games. So you play against Asante Kotoko, your former team, on the final day of the first round. What are you looking forward to in that game? We are looking forward as we are playing back in our home grounds. As we are playing back in our home grounds, we are looking forward for an improved game like we have, saw, we have seen today. And then a goal to score at the end. To carry the three points in in coronation park coming next weekend better luck in that game thank you very much